So this fella got this lock at an antique store. And he brought it and showed it to me, and I was so intrigued by it, and I'm fascinated by locks anyhow. But this particular one was really, really neat. I'm so interested in it that I had to figure out a way that I could hang on to it for a while so I could study it, copy it, and uh, understand how it works. And the really cool thing about this lock was where the key goes into it. Now, when he got this at the antique store, it didn't come with a key. He had no key. So, as we figured out how it worked, and he showed me some things on it, uh, I told him, I said, well, what if I make a key for you? How about I take this home with me, and I'll make a key for you, and that way I'd get to study this for a lot longer and, and, and figure this all out. I said, well, I'll make you a key. But here's how it works. You see, you can't open the door to get to the keyhole. The intriguing thing about this lock is it's a, it, it has some secret catches on it. To get the door open, we know that the keyhole is behind here. But to get the door open, how do you open that? You lay down on here like this, and it pops open. You see that? So there, that's how it opened up. Once I saw that, I knew I had to, to study this more. So I took a block of steel half inch by about an inch and a quarter and I started to cut away at the metal and first the first thing I had to do was drill the hole for the barrel and then reduce the metal here by grinding on a grinding wheel and then I had to mill slot so it could make that zigzag. And I had to mill each slot in there. Then, using small files, I had to get in there and clean up all that work that I had done. The grinding and then the milling all had to be cleaned at rounded edges until I created a round barrel here, as you can see. All that until I could get it to fit in the lock. So if it fit in there like that, go the right depth. I had to cut it off, then it was a little bit longer, cut it off. So it just fit, all the time watching it, using magnifying glasses. See, just, I wanted it to get it to fit just right. Then, applying lamp black or soot, to the key, to the bit of the key, then I would place it in and turn it till it stopped. Kind of wriggle it on the spot that it stopped, bring it back. Look at it, see where the marks were. Understanding a bit about how these work in the first place, I know that there's a spring that has to be elevated to un lock the keeper or the latch and then the then once that's elevated then I can move the bolt to unlock or the keeper to keep unlock the, the, the lock. So looking at that all the time, a little bit at a time, file away. A little bit at a time, then I realized there was a slot in the bit. So, the front part I knew was raising the spring, and the back part was moving the bolt or keeper out of the way. So, working a little bit at a time, filing, lamp black, back in, trying it again, filing again, I finally got it, 
and I tried either way. I finally got it to turn. And it went. It turned. It turned easily. It was okay. But it wouldn't open. And I was so frustrated. And I went back. Did I do something wrong? Am I, is it, am I breaking it? I don't think so. I tried it again. And I got out the magnifying glass. And I looked at it. And I looked at it down in here where the, which side does it catch on? And with bright light, and the light down in there, and my magnifying glass is on so I can see what's going on, I turned it and I could see the bolt falling back out of it. Clearly out of the way. It wouldn't open. It would not open. I was so frustrated. What is wrong? I thought I had it all figured out. I thought I knew what I was doing. Obviously I don't. And, and I just could not get over the fact that, oh man, I can make this thing go and it will not open. I don't want to force it. This lock was made to work. Is there something? Is Maybe the lock is broken inside. Is there a second catch? I'm looking at it. I'm looking at the rivets. Is there an, another catch? Is, it, is, is there another turn? Do I have to turn it twice? Everything under the sun. I'm trying to figure out what's wrong. Why can't I get it open? Extremely frustrated. I finally gave up. After all this time of working on this, I gave up and I went to a locksmith that I know, an old guy. And I left it with him. Well, he said, would you leave it here a couple of days and I'll look at it. I was figuring if he could get a scope up in there, we could see what's going on in there. Something is broke. It's not working because something's broke. Something broke inside. That's why it ended up where it did, without the key. He says, let me have a couple of days, and I have another guy who's really good at these two, and he'll look at it too, and we'll figure something out. So I left it with him. A day later, he comes back. And he brings it to me. He turns the lock like that, and opens it right up. And I wondered, What'd you do? So right away I took the key out. And I looked at the key. What's different? What did he do different? And the key was the same. He hadn't had altered my key at all. What was wrong with this thing? My key was the same. But he got it open. Let me show you how it works. Okay, here's how this lock works. First, you have to pull down on this to make the door open. And it's a spring-loaded door and it comes out. Second, you undo the bolt. It's still won't open. Watch this. Here's the back of the lock. If you pull this to the side, it opens. You see there's another catch right in here that this thing gets touches. Watch this as I close it. Uh, this is a uh, puzzle lock. Somewhere in mid to late 1800s. You can see the wrought iron in it. Isn't that cool? Again. Open that up. Turn your key. Pull that to the side, and then it will.
I hope you found this video uh, interesting and God. Also, you can check out my other videos. There's a video on how to make flint strikers, as well as uh, some of my travels and uh, some of my other iron work. So, thanks for watching. Uh, like I said, subscribe so you can come back and uh, see the other things we have.